What up guys, how are you all doing? Thank you for tuning back up on the channel here today for another Fortnite video. Today's video, we're going to be looking at the storyline, okay, right up till now and what's going to be happening in Season 5 with the storyline. What is happening to that big missile and what is happening with the new visitor skin? What's all going on? Is he launching it? Is he making an army? We're going to check it out into today's video. We're going to break it down, the whole story that we know so far up to this point and what we're going to be potentially seeing in Season 5 and towards the end of Season 4 and what's actually going to be happening. Some of this stuff is crazy. Before we get any further though, in today's video, if you guys could do me a huge favor, you should know what to do. Go down, smash a big fat like on today's video. If you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe. And I'm currently running a Season 4 Battle Pass giveaway. Um, I give away a gift card code to one of you guys. You can spend the money on skins, the Battle Pass, wait for Season 5. It's up to you. So if you want to enter that, Drop a like on today's video, subscribe down below, comment in the comment section down below, Season 4 Battle Pass, and turn on notifications and follow my social media. That is it. Simple, easy, bish bash bosh, done. Um, as of recently as well, I haven't been uploading as much. You've probably noticed this. Here's a couple of comments um, that people have been saying I haven't been uploading. I've just finished uni for this year, so I've got the whole of the summer to work on videos and produce content for you guys. So I'm looking forward to it. Expect a ton more videos on the channel now. Without further ado, let's jump into this storyline of what's going to be happening for season four, season five, and some new info that we've just got. Now, to give you guys a bit of background, because I haven't covered any of the storyline on my channel so far, what we know so far, the villains and the heroes are actually friends. They're on a movie set. The theory before that was that they were all fighting each other. No, they're all on a movie set. We can see this through past pictures. Now, as of recently, now this loading screen right here confused a lot of people. It's Omega sitting down with the heroes, okay, of the map. They're all sitting down drinking tea after a day on set uh, recording the movie. What Omega doesn't know is that the heroes already know about his past. You can see here, they can see he was originally in prison, because you can see on the map the little icon saying Omega's from prison. Um, he's escaped, he's pretending to be a good guy and be on set, work on the movie set, but what he doesn't know is that the heroes actually know about his past and that he's escaped the prison and everything like that. And um, pretty much he's working behind their back and they know about this. Now, the new loading screens that we got just as of recently have changed this storyline drastically, especially with the brand new Visitor Blockbuster skin in Fortnite. Now, in last week's loading screen that you got for completing the weekly challenges, you can see the Visitor has escaped his pod that is within the Meteor, and he has run to the rocket or the missile, which we don't know what it is yet. We'll come on to that in a minute. He is there looking to launch the missile or, or rocket. Now, before we talk any further onto the rocket, how is it being fueled? and stuff like that. Now for you guys that didn't know, the missile slash rocket, which we don't know what it is yet, which I'll be going on to in a minute, is actually being fueled by hot rocks being picked up from around the map by the government. As you can see here, government cars, secret agent cars, and they're also carrying the big rocks that were found at the meteor sites as well. Now, now these have been moving each week in a direction, and all of the ones from around the map are heading towards the uh, secret lair, okay? So these were originally at the football pitch. They're no longer here, but this is where they were a couple of weeks ago. They then progressed to like here, and now they're all the way over here. Now, they're all over the map. You guys have probably seen them. Um, they're actually all moving in the same direction towards this area. Now, the Hot Rocks, like I said, they're being used to fuel uh, the big rocket slash missile that we know is here, okay? Now, something that's come out just as of recently is that these rocks that they're using as well, you know that you can mine them, you get metal from them, right? Now, what is actually being made from this metal, you guys can see up on screen here from this loading screen, is that Omega is creating an army of metal robots. The reason why we can tell this is because this logo seen on the secret agent's car is actually the same logo you can see on the metal people that they're building. They're creating an army. So Omega is actually working with the government to create an army. Now, what Omega and the government don't know is that the recent visitor skin that we've just got in the game has escaped his pod. He's called a visitor for a reason, okay? Visitors, they come and go. He's a visitor. He's come to nick the missile slash rocket and go back to space, okay? He doesn't want to be on this Fortnite map. That is why he is the one launching the missile you can see in this loading screen. He's run away from his escape pod because he's escaped from some other planet that he didn't want to be in. He's looking to go elsewhere 
Um, and he's going to use this missile slash rocket to go somewhere else. That is why he's launching it. Now, like I said, Omega and the government are actually working together to create an army. The government are providing Omega with all the resources, the hot rocks to fuel the missile slash rocket, which we don't know what it's going to do yet. It might blow up the map. It might be escaping. It might be to destroy something. Missile might destroy Tilted Towers. We don't know. Um, and then, obviously, the rocks that the government are collecting, he's using to create an army. Now, like I said, the whole heroes versus villains story, like I said, they're on a movie set. But Omega is working behind their back with the government to produce an army. The blockbuster slash visitor skin has run out and is trying to use the rocket to escape, which is very interesting. Now, something recently that uh, I found very interesting, you know the base where the blockbuster slash visitor skin has come from? We all know that it's come from within this big rock meteor that landed within... Uh, Dusty Divot, well, it was created Dusty Divot, it destroyed Dusty Depot, it landed here. Now, what's very interesting is that someone has actually been spying on him the whole time. We know these telescopes were originally used for to look at the meteor. Well, guess what? This telescope has been used to spy on uh, the visitor. So, someone knows what is going on. Could it be Omega that's been spying on the blockbuster skin slash visitor skin this whole time? He knows what's happening. <laughs> This is very interesting, actually. Just this one place in the whole map is looking down here at the meteor, and he knows what's going on. So someone else knows about this visitor skin. Now, as of right now in the map, obviously, we've got the hero's house, which is right over the other side, the big mansion, and the supervillain base. There hasn't been much changes to it, right? Nothing's really changed um, inside, and I think the insides are going to change a lot more within the coming week. I mean, even if you just go around this place, you can see the rocks that they're using from the meteor strikes. Uh, within the actual, like, facility, I guess. And this is what they're using to create the army. What's interesting is that some of these rocks look like dinosaur claws. Now, these dinosaur claws or bits of rock, I don't know what they are, were actually extracted from the meteor site within Dusty Divot. Now, they've actually ended up in the supervillain place. So... My guess is the supervillains are the ones that have been extracting the rock and they're obviously taking materials from there as well, which we can see here to create an army. So my guess is the villains actually know about the visitor skin. They're actually working with him. And those rocks in particular were actually extracted from the Meteor Strike facility. So are the villains working with the visitor skin? I think so. Now, something I want to touch on in this video is that this whole lair is purple themed, okay? With this little logo, I guess. Now, what's very strange is the recent skins that just got leaked, which I'll throw up on screen here, one of the villains has actually got this logo on. And that literally the whole of in here is like a purple theme, right? So, this isn't... The Omega's lair at all, what we thought it was. It's not the new not the new visitor's skin's lair. It's this new guy that's coming into Fortnite, a skin that got leaked. It's actually his lair. Like, like, he is the super, super villain, okay? Literally everything in here in his lair has got his branding on. It's all purple, so this is going to be his lair. He's working with Omega and the visitor skin, which uh, the villains actually extracted themselves from the meteor site. And they're all going to be working together with the government, like I said, to create an army. But what's going to happen next, we don't know, which is very interesting. Like I said, the hot rocks are being used to fuel the missile. And uh, and the big boulders here are used to create the army. The government and the villains are working together. And uh, something big is happening with that rocket towards the end of the season. So, a couple of guesses what's going to be happening with this rocket. It's going to go off. It's going to blow up. Maybe the map, we don't know if it's a missile or rocket yet. It looks like a missile, which is either something that's going to blow up a location on the map. Maybe Moisty Mire might be hinted. That's something I want to cover in my next video, is what is this missile going to actually be doing. That is going to wrap up today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. This is the storyline that uh, we know right up till now. New information and everything. This is what we know up till right now. Some pretty interesting stuff, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to be happening in the next couple of weeks, because this missile is going to take off, and either the villains are going to escape, or they're going to set their army off on this whole map, and it's going to destroy the whole map. We don't know. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, you guys are too. As you can see here, uh, just another bit of evidence. This is the government's logo. You saw it on the other vehicle over there. 
and they're trying to keep this stuff top secret they're nicking all the stuff and bringing it all to this base so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did drop a big fat like if you're looking forward to the rest of the storyline then make sure you're subscribing down below because we're going to be covering it all on the channel here all the theories what's going to be happening and uh yeah it's going to be exciting times drop a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you guys are new i'll catch you guys in my next video it's been your boy max have a good day and uh peace out